The I.O. link devices are parameterized in the port configuration tool on the parameters tab. I will start with the 3RA27 function module, which we configured on port 1 of the I.O. link master. I select the 3RA27 function module in the project window at the left. On the parameters menu I can enter the reversing starter. Of course, the starter is also installed in our model of the chip conveyor and thus available. I enable the comparison for operation at present and the actual configuration. It compares the configured function module for the reversing starter with the one actually installed in the machine. Various function modules are available for the different starter types, but always with the same reversing starter and device IDs. Because up to four starters can be grouped on an I.O. link master port, the parameters for starters 2 to 4 are visible in the PCT tool. They are set to unavailable. Because we do not have an operator block, no is selected. Then I select the current monitoring relay in order to set its parameters. When the relay is shipped, the parameters are either set to enabled or disabled. I will leave enabled for group diagnosis and group error diagnosis. Likewise, local threshold change, local parameter change and local reset. Then changes can be entered locally directly on the device using the set button and the arrow keys. The remnant error memory remains deactivated. I take the analog value coding from the manual and decide to use a parent current L1 with coding 16. Based on a resolution of 0.01 and coding of 16, the apparent current will be transferred in amperes to the input's process image. For the following current monitoring functions, I leave load current monitoring as apparent current. I set the starting delay to 3 seconds. I set the tripping delay times to 10 seconds. These are the delay times until the screw changes the direction of rotation based on overcurrent or undercurrent and triggers a fault. I select 0.1 amperes for the hysteresis and double load current for the blocking current. Leave the remaining parameters as enabled or disabled or as closed circuit current principle. I define the threshold for overshoot as 2.4 amperes. I select 1.7 amperes for the warning threshold for overshoot. The remaining values are disabled. The K20 input module is the last device that must parameterize. The input should not be inverted and I parameterize the input delay as 15 milliseconds. I then switch to the IO link master in the project editor. Using the command load with devices, I can transfer all parameters of the three devices completely. If the steps for configuration and parameterization are followed as shown, the chip conveyor will be implemented according to the automation description. It also shows the efficient fast exchange of data between the TIA and the PCT engineering tools.